Kiss him in now, cut your edge out. Touch on ice, but you'll be heavy in my mind. Can you get the heck out? I need rest now. What's up, Trevor Gang? Welcome back to another. Dang, why can I not say this? What's up, Trevor Gang? Welcome back to another episode of my life. And if you're new, hey, boo. So, welcome back. Welcome back. As y'all read from the title below, this is another story time. Um, yeah, I, re I really don't got too much to say. You know, your girl back again, getting out these bangers for y'all. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, but I ain't gonna do too much rambling. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Connect with me on all my social medias, which will be in the description box below. And let's get to it. Okay, y'all. So I had to fix the camera because I'm recording off my back camera. And I'm, I really want to start recording on my background because, like, honestly, I'm trying to get the best quality that I could get. And it's supposed to be recording in 4K. And I'm trying to get that 4K, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been watching my videos and I'll be like, I don't really like the quality. So we're going to try this back cam stuff. I don't know what I look like, y'all. Hopefully I look <laughs> up to part. Um, ooh. Okay, so hopefully I, I look up to part. But let's, like I said, let's just get into the video. So this is a story time, um, and the title is going to be something like males be messy too, like guys be messy too. I wanted to tell the story time because y'all like dudes really be messy too, like so yeah. So basically, um, I'm trying to think because the story time about the truth about my job, which I'll probably put it right here, um, no, no I won't because I... <laughs> Cause I don't have that thumbnail. I don't know. I will or I will not. Okay. But that video, um, is literally called the truth about my job. I had quit my job. The home girl that was in that video, um, she's also in this video and we still friends to this day or whatever. So let's just get, let's just get right into it. I'm rambling too much, but, um, okay. So yeah, boom. So we working at Amazon or whatever. I don't think, did I say the job? Yeah, I said the job in the last one. So yeah. So we working at Amazon or whatever. And it was this dude, right? So let's just, okay, so first, first of all, let's just start here. Me and homegirl, I don't remember what I called her in the last story time, but this, I already told y'all, it's the same girl. So me and homegirl, like, we wasn't homegirls at this point, right? So basically, let's just call the guy... Let's just call the guy a dreadhead. He was, he was a dreadhead. So let's call the guy a dreadhead. So, Dreadhead, how I knew Dreadhead is because um, at Amazon, when you working in, like, outbound, I don't know, but when you working there, you working in the trucks. So, I wouldn't, like, load in the trucks, but I would be, like, the quarterback, like, you know what I'm saying? I would help push the boxes, woo, woo, hand it to them if they needed or whatever. So, um, buddy, Dreadhead had started working there. Now, initially, how I knew Dreadhead is because, one, I would see him walking around with homegirl and then um i think like his first it's not his first day like his actual first day but like the first day i was in the truck with him not his first day day he was put in a truck with me and somebody else i used to work near each other or whatever so like i knew homeboy or whatever like i seen him before but i didn't know him first encounter was something like y'all don't got good memory but i believe it was something like i was in a truck um with somebody and he was in that truck too and we always like talking and shit so that's how you know what i'm saying i started to like you know know him a little bit or whatever right so this how he was being messy y'all so basically before i knew homegirl like i said like you know i think i was in the truck with him maybe like once or twice or whatever we talked before or whatever like you know what i'm saying conversation we at work or whatever right so um one of the girls i think i named her like a in the first story time she like she found him attractive right like she wanted to mess with him or whatever so like i think that's who we all like it was us three we all would be like talking laughing and shit and then we oh i'm cussing too early in the video my bad youtube but we'll be talking and laughing and stuff in the um truck or whatever working and stuff it would just be a vibe and then i believe we all had ended up exchanging like social medias i don't know how he got my number honestly because, like, why would I get him my number? <laughs> I don't know how he got my number, but he had my Instagram and my number, right? So, um, me and homegirl, we wasn't, like, we still wasn't close by this time. 
then it's like all right so days go by whatever like me and homegirl like we um we had i don't even remember how me and homegirl this is crazy y'all i don't even remember how me and homegirl really got like homegirls but like um my first time talking to her or my first few times talking to her like she mentioned that dreadhead was like her work boyfriend right like her work bell whatever and it's kind of like she mentioned that like she didn't really give a f about him but at the same time like she did like that's her work boyfriend or whatever right so from that point on like i started moving different when it come to dreadhead because like i felt like you know i'd be talking to her and i felt like she was cool i could see us being friends so it was just like i'm not gonna be you know what i'm saying so um because I actually probably could find the messages. I don't know. But, um, he had, like, whenever I gave him my number, he texted me and was like, um, did you leave or something? Because I used to leave, like, the shift was over at 5.30 in the morning. It was an overnight shift. But I would leave at, like, 3.30 or 4.30. Like, I would use an hour every day. So, he had asked, like, if I left or something. And I was like, yeah. Or he asked, like, when I was coming back because he needed a quarterback in his truck. And I was like, I love for whatever, woo woo. And like, that's the little conversation we had. But he would kind of try to like make more conversation, but I wouldn't reply. And then, especially once me and Homegirl started talking and she, you know, gave me the one that like, that's her work, bed, whatever, whatever. Like, I really was like, all right, cool. Like, I'm cool on that. Even though, y'all, I wasn't trying to fuck with this dude at all anyway, because he was not my type at all. Like, at all. But it's just like now it's like all right i'm not even gonna really conversate with you for real because like i know what's going on over there right cool so um yeah so that happened so the next day came into work or whatever you know they walking around they working together or whatever and um you know it was just the usual like what would be so crazy though is because like when he would be with homegirl he wouldn't really like say nothing to nobody else like or i i didn't see him say anything to nobody else but it's like when he wasn't with home girl like i said how me him and a i think that's who it was would be in the truck he would be like more talkative or he not like more talkative but he would talk but not too much because he really ain't like a anyway like i said she was trying to fuck with him oh i cussed again like i said she was trying to mess with him but he wouldn't really get her the time of the day, but he would be more talkative versus if he was there with, like, homegirl, right? Basically, like, what's so crazy, y'all, though, is because, like, me and this dude never had that many encounters. Like, like I said, he texted me about the whole he needed a quarterback thing. And then he would, like, text me on Instagram. That's what it was. He was, like, liking my stuff and stuff on instagram like liking my pictures and stuff and he would like text me on instagram and i think it was like a hey i was like hey he was like what you doing and i didn't text back because you know what i'm saying like bro i know what you got going you know what i'm saying and then after that when i went and text back he would just keep texting himself y'all know them dudes that just be talking to himself and y'all message that's just how it was right so I was like, yeah, but I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, texting back because at the end of the day, I already know like what's going on, regardless if y'all serious or not. But he was serious with her though, so I don't know what he was getting at. But boom. Right okay, y'all. So I'm over here editing, and I don't woke up and started back editing and realized that like I kind of like left out some stuff. So when it comes to this part and. I'm finna explain, like, you know, basically, like, how he was being messy or whatever. How we linked up in the car. So, I know y'all gonna be confused because it was like, okay, before y'all wasn't talking. All of a sudden, y'all leaking, y'all linking outside of work because we had quit by this time. So, basically, while that was going on, like, what I was explaining, while that was going on, like, I want to say, like, days passed and me and homegirl started talking. Like I said, I really don't remember how me and girl, homegirl started talking. I think it was just, like, a, I ended up working with them in a truck and me and her started talking. I really do not remember. But we started talking before we quit because if you watch my story time, the truth about my job, me and her end up quitting together. So, like... I explained it all that kind of slow, but all that was happening kind of fast. You know what I'm saying? Because it's day by day. Um, he got my Instagram doing all that, texting me and stuff. We still going to work. Woo-woo. And then days go past. And then somewhere in there, me and homegirl started talking. 
and taking breaks together and then the video about the truth about my job happened and then we quit and then we're here at this we linking up um and she finna tell me about brody by this time not brody by jared head by this time we like locked in like you know that was my girl okay so this situation was not at work it's after it was after me and homegirl already quit so basically me and homegirl had linked up and we like went to a park chill and she had brought it up so this conversation is us in the car smoking or whatever chilling woo -woo, and she had brought this up so we're not at work we have quit by this time and she mentioned that um he said i was trying to talk to him or he said like i shouldn't be her friend or i'm not no real friend because i be trying to mess with him and we be talking and stuff like something like that y'all and the thing about me is i know who i be talking to right so like when i heard that i was like oh nah like i was like nah girl like why he lying like that and i remember like my body was shaking because i don't know i don't like when people lie like you know what i'm saying it's like it's not no point to lie you know it was not that. Like, you know it wasn't that twin. You know it wasn't that twin. So I was just flabbergasted. But I was like, girl, I got the messages. I got the messages. Like, this is me to her. Like, I'm like, girl, I got the messages. Uh-uh, let me, let me, hold on. What's his name on Instagram, y'all? I was trying so hard to remember his name. Like, so hard. Because I was like, bro, he really lying. But he was trying to portray it like I was a fake female. Like, as if I was really in her face taking breaks with her, but trying to talk to her, like, her work bait on a low light. And it was just like, no. Like, I'm like, no. I don't like when people try to come after my character. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, no, babe. That's not at all what's going on. Not at all what's going on. So, um, yeah, I'm like, yeah, like, no, nah, I got the messages. Like, I swear, uh-uh, he lying. He said, what? He said, what? Nah, nah, nah. Like, so, boom, y'all. I swear to God, by the grace of God. His name pop up. I said, ooh, here it go. Go to the message, y'all. I didn't even look. I didn't even look at the messages because I knew I wasn't talking to that man. I knew, like I said, it probably was like a text back or two because he would try to, like, text me about work. Like, he would try to be like, oh, I need a quarterback. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, 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 ooh. So I would let him know that I left. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, it wasn't no, it wasn't no extravagant, like, oh, yeah, where are you from? Mm hmm When we going to link up? you cute ain't even get past what you doing like swear so i show her the message she like oh this be lying wow wow and he said wow like and i'm like sitting there like yeah because why he just tried to like why he just tried to play it like that? why he just tried to play it like that like why he tried to sit here and act like we was talking or i was trying to mess with him and be her friend like come on now are you serious like so we really came to a conclusion that because i don't remember how we came to this conclusion but we came to a conclusion that he was trying to like he wanted both of us like he was trying to you know have his little thing going on with her date her or whatever and then he was like gonna try to mess with me but in order for him to do that he felt like in a, in a man eyes or a boy eyes he felt like in order for him to do that we couldn't be cool you know what i'm saying because if we was cool then how was he gonna be slick with it which i still like do yeah so he didn't expect her to do that or whatever so i remember okay i'm so glad sorry y'all i'm so glad i just remember because it is more to this story right so she ended up telling him because i think she screenshot the messages or it was something but she ended up going back and telling him like you know i know you was lying like she showed me the messages she was not trying to mess with you if anything you was all up in her phone woo 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 woo, woo y'all why like he um go back and say woo woo to um home girl like he was just coming at me and it was so crazy because i'm like bro you lied like what do you like what did you think was gonna happen like you lied but he tried to make it seem like he tried to make it seem like i don't know like he was basically trying to make it seem like different stuff to the both of us like he was basically because i was taking all that to say it basically he was just trying to plead his case he was really just trying to plead his case with me i don't really remember like word for word what he was saying but he was just trying to make it seem like one thing to me and then he was trying to make it seem like another thing to her basically and then we're caught looking stupid like he would not he like y'all he would not stop texting so basically after all that was exposed or whatever 
um me and homegirl we no longer work at the job we had quit so after that like yeah he would just be like texting me like i really wish i had the message i do got a piece of message though um uh, which i'm gonna upload but um I don't know, I like, I wish I just had all the messages, but he would just be texting me like, hey, what you doing? Duh, 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 duh. And you know, now that we quit, like, I feel like he really felt like, oh, now I really could try to, you know what I'm saying? But I was never giving him the time of day. Never, ever, 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 ever. He me. Then he would go to Instagram and just keep going on with the situation like, yeah, but woo, 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 and da, 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 and da, da, da. And I wouldn't even reply because it was kind of like, one, I already see you weird. And two, like, I wasn't replying in the beginning. Like, I don't, I don't give a fuck. I wasn't even close to cuss, but I don't give a f. And that's the thing. Like, I, I didn't care. Like, it's not like once you know she told me how he was being weird, and I was like, oh, <laughs> like I'm so pressed. Like, I think I, I just let him know whatever you weird and you know that's not what was going on and that was it i didn't give an f though so i don't know why he kept trying to play his case because maybe i don't care <laughs> and i would tell her every time because now i feel like you be lying so now i feel like i need to keep her updated on your actions you know what i'm saying i need to keep her updated because you ain't finna try to slide no little line there so yeah like um i had ended up blocking him because i was kind of just like it went from like he kept texting me about that situation and then i think like he was still just on my instagram like watching my story and stuff so i had just blocked him because like i said like what happened with homegirl like i know you messed with homegirl but i didn't block him i unfollowed him and made him unfollow me i probably did block him too because i'll be quick to i'll be quick to block okay so yeah but after that you know i did that and i told her like yeah girl i just went on and like unfollowed him made him unfollow me and i blocked him or whatever because then i don't really got no time for that and you you real messy like you really tried to like like i feel like and we was talking about this this ish too like i feel like if she was one of them females that like I, we both felt like he thought she was gonna be one of them females that just took his word and that just started like not liking me and not talking to me no more woo -woo. like he thought she was just gonna be like oh okay bad and stop messing with me so it would have been easier for him you know what i'm saying but because she's not the type of female she can't be on some real you know what i'm saying like i let her know some real you know what i'm saying like had his caught he was flabbergasted he was looking like boo boo the fool after that like and yeah and me and, I, me and homegirl we still cool to this day we still cool to this day y'all so i just wanted to get out a little story time i hope y'all enjoyed that um it really wasn't that long but it came to my head and i was like "Ooh, i should tell that because because males are messy too like they real messy and especially if they want to mess with both of y'all they're gonna be real messy so don't i feel like on some real stuff like don't lose your friend over a ninja because they be lying they be pillow talking and if they want both of y'all, they're probably going to try to get y'all to butt heads anyway. Like, dude, try to do us. So, yeah. Stay true to you and your homegirl and yourself. Nah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just stay true to yourself. I love my cheerbread gang. Thank you for supporting. If you watch this video, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoy. Um, Like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And until next time, babe. He wanna fuck with that. Tell me to pull up with that. He's wanna have fun with that. He can't get enough of that. He wanna fuck with that. Tell me to pull up with that.